Scotland Yard detectives, among many other things they did as part of their their review of the Portuguese case, uh, have examined mobile phone traffic. And what's emerged is that there was an extensive use of mobile phones by these three individuals um, in the minutes and hours after Madeline disappeared in May 2007. These are three men who, and I don't know quite how they've been identified as such, but were suspected of burgling uh, one or more apartments in the block where Madeline and her family were on holiday in the days before her disappearance. Um, then Madeline disappeared on the evening of the 3rd of May, and within a few minutes, the phones of these three suspects were red hot. They were talking to each other an awful lot. The investigators have no idea, of course, what they were saying to each other. There are no recordings of the phone conversations, but the activity was such um, that it's raised suspicions. Uh, detectives here believe they know the identities of these three men. Um, they were living, certainly some time ago, were living um, in or around the Prior de Luge area, certainly on the Algarve. Whether they are still there um, is another question, but detectives hope uh, in Britain, Scotland Yard detectives hope that their Portuguese counterparts will agree to go and talk to the men, either arrest them uh, or talk to them in some other way, but uh, just ask them um, what it was all about that night.